Hey everybody, Frugal Farmer here. This is one of the best investments you'll ever make. A freezer. It's kind of a small freezer and I've got one problem with it. It's pretty much empty. I've got hogs to process so that'll fill it up and I'll buy a quarter or a half cow and I will have no more room in here. You're probably wondering why I say a freezer is a good investment. Well, you can buy large quantities of meat, put it in here. If meat's on sale, you can buy it up, put it in here if you aren't, you know, for buying like half hogs or half cows or whole, for that matter. If you find a sale on broccoli and frozen broccoli, you can put that in here for use. Or you can, you know, if you have a little garden, you can store stuff in here. And that will save you money. And it's a lot better eating, too. The taste, nutrition, everything is just so much better. But you can get these freezers. Uh, if I remember correctly, I'm thinking between the three and the $400 area for this freezer. It's a small one and it's all I need for right now. And uh, if I can get me a big field of collards and get to putting up collards again. I had about a freezer full of collards there at one time and I ate every bit of them. But sometimes you can get a scratch and dent at Lowe's and get one pretty cheap. Or you can find a used one on Craigslist. Uh, I buy something like in a freezer or refrigerator on Craigslist. I, before I go see it, I'll tell them to go ahead and plug it up like the night before. And I'll put a thermometer in there the next day to kind of see what it's doing. And uh, just to be on the safe side. But just a little hint to save you some money. Thanks for stopping by. Come back again when you will. Share, comment, like. Hit that subscribe button. Oh, in case you're wondering. Those are pork neck bones. Those came off sausage and pork chop, my hogs. God bless.